Welcome everyone to the OTEC Pros weekly webinar, which is held every Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time to 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Yes, we now have a two hour webinar, plenty of time for you to learn and for you to interact with the panelists and gain knowledge. Thank you for being here. Our topic today is on passive, the solution to business challenges. This is a very, very hot topic, I think, and something that is in the realm of our speakers today. They are very familiar with business challenges and solutions. So we are going to begin now with our OTEC pros, Bob Takusi. All right. Good morning, everyone. This is Bob from Berlin, Maryland. I'm your friend, like I see you see this. Uh, it's a pleasure being here again today. Good morning to Brother Madi, Brother Tony, my fellow OTEC brothers, uh, Oliver, Collins, and Vincent, and also to you, Auntie Lynn. And to all our uh, viewers, I see we have about 108, and the number is rapidly climbing. Thank you for spending your early hours of this Saturday with us. Um, like Auntie Lee said, our topic of today is uh, on passive, the solution to the, 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 the solution to business challenges. Um, by its very nature, that is what on passive is. Our CEO is a, is, is a, is a problem solver, you know, and this solution on passive is indeed that system that is going to help businesses solve their problems. You know, I always make reference to this video that is in our back office. Uh, that was put there sometime last year. Uh, the video talks about Unpassive being an equal opportunity uh, business for all, every business, whether you are large or small, building technology, building tomorrow's technology today. To, to, today's technology or tomorrow's technology which is being built today is built with what? The latest technology that we know, the latest technology driving businesses is artificial intelligence. We know that that's who we are. That's what we have, we are being built up from ground, ground up. We know that we are integrated, on passive integrity is integrated and well, the, the system is automated. You know, the architecture, the way on passive is put together from the ground up is being put mindful of making sure that business problems are being solved. On passive is going to help businesses. Let me, let me go back. Let's actually look at what on passive is. When we talk of on passive, there's a, there's a, there's a jargon, there's a phrase that we talk of, CATMO. Remember CATMO? CADMO is a complete uh, digital system that is powered by artificial intelligence for targeted traffic for all of us. So you can you make money while you, while you are asleep, CADMO. So on passive by its own definition, by what we know of, is a total digital system that every business, everyone, whether you are big, small, mid-size, you have something in that uh, massive ecosystem that you can use to help you enhance your business. Our products right now, as we speak, are over market value. The, 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 the ones that are, that are ready, that are ready to, to be deployed to the market, they are over market value. They are, they, they are coming into the marketplace better than any product that is currently existing right now in the industry with features that are yet unknown to, to be seen. And then, we, they build them all and we create what we call single sign-on. So when you are inside the, uh, the unpassive ecosystem, whatever package you choose for your company, you don't need to sign in and out, in and out, it solves that problem. So whatever package you choose, you can navigate from one application of unpassive to another without the, without the hassles of signing in, signing out, signing in and signing out. So that is a great, great uh, 
problem that is being solved for businesses. We'll tell you uh, most help, help desk support uh, uh, analysts will tell you that most of their problems, the calls that they get every day has to do with, with, with password issues. So that is elevated right away with, 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 a, with, a, with, with an unpassive ecosystem when you are part of uh, our system. The products of unpassive will help businesses a lot. It will, fa it will fast track completion of tasks and increase productivity. We're going to go into some of these, pro these, these pro products individually to show you how that is going to be done. When you implement uh, unpassive uh, products within your system, within your, your, your system, that's what you gain. Tasks are done efficiently. You know, it will increase productivity. Unpassive also helps businesses to lower production costs because we are coming in, administrative costs, sorry, because we are coming in, we are on metered. Unpassive products are on metered. We talk of licenses and all that, those, those problems are taken away by, by Unpassive when you are within our, our system. And of course, it helps you, you know, to, uh, uh, to be able to, to identify and target your customers. Remember, Unpassive is driven by artificial intelligence, self-learning. The, the older the system gets, the age of the system, it perfects itself. It gets better and better and better. So with time, Unpassive targets your, your, your customers and sends you the, the exact customer that is not warranted for your business, your specific business purposes and needs. So I'm going to send it back to you, Antilene, and then we'll continue the conversation from one phase or one step to the next. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Bob. We now go on to Mr. Marty DeGarmo, who would like to take the floor. Go ahead, Marty. Thank you, Bob. Excellent, man. Excellent. Uh, I want to look at this from the point of view of, let's say, a marketer and business and uh, try to add to what Bob, ha Bob is saying and how Unpassive will bridge that gap that's been there for well, MLM, at least online, for probably 30 years, 25, 30 years. Um, in MLM, the biggest problem for people, and I'm gonna I'm gonna name some problems, and then I'm gonna go back and say real quickly how impossible change that. Most people in the businesses online, they have a lack of marketing skills, right? Too many marketers are struggling due to their lack of marketing skills. Most marketers get on the intention I want to make money, but they don't realize. In order to do it with with normal online businesses, you have to have some type of skills. Another big, big problem, and this is one of the biggest ones, is running out of leads, running out of visitors, running out of people that you can have come look at whatever product it is you're selling for whatever company it is. Because in the past, the companies do not help you with any of this. Oh, they give you ideas. You could go do this. You could do, but they tell everybody that. Once again, you're talking to people that don't have the skills. They don't know how to generate leads. A major problem is companies focus on recruiting, but they stop. Re they stop focusing on the customer. So while a company is recruiting driven and not customer driven eventually most of these companies in fact you'd have a hard time naming 10 that have been around more than a year now there's some that's been around decades okay they made it but think about the casualties of war in in marketing online and businesses because their focus is on how many more people can i get to share this business and why do they need to do that it goes back to number one and two one is lack of marketing skills, so let's go to the next one. If he can get 10, the next guy can get 10. They don't care, as long as the numbers are growing slowly but surely. 
But because the focus is so driven on we need to get marketers because we can't get customers. But while they're doing that, what are they doing? They're neglecting the customer, right? It's over-focusing on recruiting. The business was not set up to recruit. The business was set up to satisfy a customer with a need or a want from some type of product. A lot of, here's another one, a lot of um, marketers or so-called marketers, most of them are not marketers, I hate to say it, they're just not. But most of these people that want to be marketers come in with unrealistic expectations. They see the Tony Robbins, they see all the people. Oh, I, I would love to have millions of dollars a year. I'd like to be 100 pounds less. You know, some of that stuff just isn't going to happen. And the realistic is, so they lose hope. They they lose their mojo is what happens because they're beat down because they don't have the skills. They're beat down because they don't know how to get the leads. And they still see that one or one and a half percent making it. They think it's bigger than that, but it's not. It's about one percent, one and a half percent. About two percent don't tell the truth. And a lack of business mentality. You have to think business to be good at it. You can't think the nine to five person, I'm going to clock in, I'm going to go to lunch, I'm going to go out on lunch, I'm going to clock out. And if I'm lucky, every year I get two weeks vacation. That, that mentality will, will kill you. So it's already stacked against you, as you see. And I've only read about four or five. And one of them that people just don't want to hear is laziness. Some people want to get in, push a button, and say, I win. Well, he did it. I can do it. Well, he didn't do it that easy. And the guy that you think is doing so well, he's struggling. He's working like a mule. Even if he can drive leads and create his own traffic, he's struggling. If he, if he backs off on that gas pedal one second, he loses everything he has. I talked to a guy that made 80 grand a month. A year later, he lost his home. And what was the reason? One of the five or six I just told you. Because no matter how good he was, 99% of the people that tried to bring people in couldn't. Why? Because of the five or six things I just mentioned. It, it's a vicious circle over and over and over. They don't have to like it. They don't have to think I could do something about it. It's facts. Now, let me run this back to you again. I'm passive is going to fix this, and I'm going to tell you how step by step. Step. Lack of marketing skills. And I'm passive. You don't need marketing skills. They drive traffic for you. You don't need five, six, ten years to learn how to drive traffic to a business that may not be around in six months. Running out of leads. They run the traffic for you. You'll never run out of leads. As long as there's people being born, you have a lead with Unpassive. Focusing on recruiting. This is a company-based business. The focus is on value. The company's driving the traffic. But their main thing is value. They never mention money. You don't have to mention money if you have the ingredients of money. And that's what Unpassive has. Right? Unreal, unrealistic expectations. People are told when they walk in Unpassive, get in and you will win. Nobody's told, and if they are, it's a mistake, you're going to make X amount in month one, X amount in month two, X amount. That's a, a bad mentality. But you are told. You will win. I've never been in a business that tells you that. And I believe from what I've seen in three and a half years, I've, I've already won. And the, the part that I'm about to win is going to blow us away. Farther than I've ever dreamt of any company doing. Lack of business mentality. If you're in, you win. You can learn how to think business. You have time. Why? Because the business is done for you.
because you're a little slow at picking up what's going on. It doesn't matter. The business is aces. It's the best of the best. It covers all of those lacking skills or mentality of business. I mean, what are the chances you bring in a few thousand people and they'll have a business mentality? They don't. But with Ambassador, you have the time to learn that business mentality. And it doesn't make or break you. Why? Because if you're in, you win. It's done for you. Laziness. And I'm passive, you can make it even if you're lazy. If you're plugged in, now you can go faster because I'm a guy about time. Time's a precious thing to me. I want to get where I want to get quicker than, than not. So you can make that happen if you pick up on the laziness. And I found in this company, even people that might have called themselves lazy are starting to motivate themselves in the business because the business draws the best out of you. Anyway, that's all I have. Thank you very much. Thank you, Marty DeGarmo. Wow, you covered quite a bit just in those few short minutes that you spoke. And I know that Tony Monk will want to chime in on what you just said. So Tony, this is a good time for you to share. Thank you, Lynn, I appreciate that. Yeah, great, uh, Marty, that was awesome. Thank you, Bob, fantastic. I'm, I'm going to bring it up uh, from a business perspective. Uh, Marty brought it up from the individual perspective uh, coming into a multi-level marketing company and the challenges that they face. But let's talk about a, what, a, what businesses uh, face as far as challenges are concerned. And there's many, many challenges, but one of the major challenges is attracting uh, customers to their to their business. Okay, with on passive, we obviously have that solution. It's called all traffic. Now, with artificial intelligence behind uh, the system, working behind the system, brings in the guaranteed traffic leads that this business needs. So, so the traffic that's coming in is looking for exactly what the business ha uh, has. Uh, let's let's say, for example, it's a business that sells soaps. Uh, maybe some of you have seen that before where they have different types of soaps and, and different fragrances and so on. Uh, and uh, now it, it's very expensive for a business to, uh, to market to the world to try to bring in the proper customers, the right customers to buy those particular products. But with our old traffic, uh, with artificial intelligence behind the scene, working behind the scene, is going to bring the traffic that that soap business needs. These people are looking for those soaps now or even yesterday, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So now the business is gonna come in, they're going to, the, the solution is the uh, lack of traffic that they're going to be getting from Unpassive, right? They're gonna look at the platform. Now they're gonna come in on a, on a consistent basis, month after month, because they love uh, the idea that the, the, uh, our company is bringing the traffic that they need. Now they're going to be looking around the platform. What are they going to look at? They're going to see, obviously, for a business, you need an HR platform, right? They're going to look at old staff, and they're going to say, oh, my God, this is way better than what we have. Old staff, right? They're going to, look, they're going to love old staff. They're going to buy old staff, and they're going to use old staff, okay? They're going to keep looking around. They're going to see old connect and different products and tools that we have in Unpassive. We have the solution that every individual person that Marty was talking about wants. And we have the solution for every business that's gonna be coming in to Unpassive as well. Okay, so we have, we have something for everybody here. And uh, businesses are king. I mean, customer, sorry, customers are king, right? So the customers are going to come in. They're going to love what we have because we have everything they want. Remember, we have something that 5 billion people use on the planet. You know, uh, remember, uh, not too long ago, I, I, I mentioned, I said, how long does it take to count to 5 billion? So it gives you an idea of how, how much, how big 5 billion is. It takes 244 years to count to 5 billion. That's a huge market, a huge market. And we have the solution for everybody, businesses, individuals, uh, grandmothers, grandpas, anybody you can possibly imagine. I'll pass it back to you, Lynn. That's all I have for now. Thanks. 
Thank you. In other words, on passive is the answer to all our business challenges. That's why that's our topic. It's so perfect. All right, next we go on to Collins, Mana. Thank you, Lynn. Uh, thank you, viewers, those who are watching online and with us here. You're all welcome. Just want to greet my brother Tony, Madi, well said, um, Bob, you just nailed it on the head. So we're talking, the, the topic today is um, on passive the solution to business challenges. So I would just like to look at Mr. Ash, you know, for a while and then look into on passive. The reason why Mr. Ash Mufara built this company. You know, Mr. Ash Mufara already, we know he's a guru in IT. We know he is also a guru in marketing. And most of the software we have out there, Mr. Ash Mufara have used most of them. He knows the problem that business are facing because he have already used it in real life. You know, he knows all the challenges and he said, you know what? I want to do something better. It is not good enough. What is out there is not good enough. It's not really, you know, solving the problems because we are talking, you know, business, especially the way humans are now, we are moving very, very fast. You know, people want to do their, 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 their job more efficiently and effectively. You know, people don't want to, especially business don't want to, you know, buy a lot of software just to do one single job. You need this software, this software, this software, integrate them together. It costs them a lot of money. So Mr. Ash Mufara look at it. And even with all the integration, there are still limitations within those software. So he knows that this is what we need at this point in time. He come on to, to do what? To build disruptive technology. You know, technology that you can use only a single product and it will do all what you want. For instance, look at our old mail. You go to the back office and what it is now, it is mind blowing. You know, look at old stuff. Sometimes I think I've discussed with our brother here, Bob Oliver. We talked looking at our old stuff. We, we said maybe it's about seven applications integrated into one platform to give us a single old stuff with all the technologies and disruptive functionalities within old stuff. You know, there are just many, many, many. Now, when we look at it again, we're talking about customization of our software. Business want their software to be customized according to their need. You tailor it according to their need. That's already a means to solve business challenges. You know, we solve them by customizing them. Do we, can we customize our software? Of course, yes. Can we integrate it to what is out there? Of course, yes. Mr. Ash Mufara, look at all these in loopholes of all the other applications out there and say, you know what? I will fill this gap, fill this gap, fill this gap to make our software more disruptive, you know, and more easy to use. You know, where time frame is matter. Because when it comes to business, time is, is money. Nobody wants to waste time using a software that you can take, for instance, um, um, say, hours only to understand the software, hours to log in, hours just to do a job for 15 minutes. So Mr. Ashbara decided and looked and said, no, how do we cut down time frame so that businesses can use it, you know, do what they want to do and then come out without spending too much time. So the valuable time they'll be wasting on, you know, looking into the application, understanding it, that valuable time can be spent to do their job. That is what we are talking about on passive the solution to business challenges. You know, how it can solve it from one end to the other. My brother Bob talked about single sign-on. We cannot keep too many passwords. Sometimes most of us are working, you go out within the weekend, you come back on Mondays and you forgot maybe half of your password. You start to call support, please. I've forgotten my password because there are just too many. We're talking about single sign-on and the time support will even <laughs> create, maybe generate a new password for you. Brother Vincent will say that. Because password is not a priority. Maybe there are priority jobs. So they will come down. So you, you, you are talking half a day for you to wait for support to, 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 to give you your login back again. So we're talking about business challenges. You know, this on passive is coming to solve, to bridge that gap where, you know, business will come in, participate, use the software with ease, solve their problem. One, the price point and the, the subscription. Uh, subscri uh, 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 so, uh, the, the, the way the software is sophisticated, you know, and it's also easy to use. The interface is just so well and integrated with each other. You know, we're talking about AI driven as well. You know, there are just a lot, lot, lot within our software which will solve all of those gaps, bridge those gaps within the, uh, with, uh, for, for all the business 
in the planet. And on passive is the answer for all business. So thank you, Antilene. I will leave it there. Thank you, Collins. As you can see, OnPassive is here to bridge all gaps that businesses experience. Next, we go on to Vincent Ete. You can unmute yourself, Vincent. Thank you. Thank you, Antoline. Yeah. OK, uh, thank you, uh, my brothers. Thank you to uh, Tony. Have a great presentation, Brother Marty. Bob Collins, yeah, did a great job so far, so good. So today we're talking about the solution to business challenging. So solution to business challenging, we I will take talk about the business on passive. So on passive is uh, our business. Thanks to our CEO for bringing this great company together and also bringing people together. So the fact that we are here sitting talking about on passive is also a business challenging because without non-passive, we wouldn't be in this place to talk about business. So this is the yeah. greatest uh, on-passive I've done for us is a business challenging as well. So business challenging, dealing with too many competitors in the field. Like uh, we have uh, this, the challenge is dealing with uh, too many competitors in the same field. Like today, we are in the world market today, so we are dealing with uh, too many competitors. This is a challenging. So solution is to bring to the new market what to the customers business that we have and then do not have. So we want them to know exactly where we have. And then also the wide collection of our business so that they can know exactly where we have in our ecosystem. So this is also a, a, a solution. So a solution like Colin also mentioned that our solution, like what customer can buy from us, they can customize to their own product. So this is something that is also challenging to the, to the business. And then finding customers. So the challenging, another challenging, it will be difficult also. The challenging for us, especially when we are starting up a new business, the challenging is to finding uh, customers outside there. So, what will make difference from us is uh, to build a, a great customer base where user, uh, people sitting outside there, they, they will require a lot of time, money, effort, and either relating resources. So it will also make a, a sell product. So like our product, people using our product, it can make a big difference to them as well. And so difficult and time consuming to other people sitting there looking for our product. So what they are looking for, we're thinking like something like uh, our um, our data center, for instance, our data center will bring a lot of solution to business sitting outside there. The, the solution what will bring artificial intelligence system where I know a lot of company outside there, they don't have exactly what we have done so far in the market. So this is bringing a bigger solution to the market. We're looking for technology like laser technology, we also bring solution to the to the to the business, and then in the, even our all all uh, all vision. So all this all this technology also bring a, uh, a lot of solution to the business market as, as as well. So I would say our most of our product today, like even when we talk like uh, Odesk, Odesk will bring also solution. To the to the business because uh, they will bring a new way to do business because we know we have a lot of system outside there but our orders the the performance the technology tied to our system also artificial power by artificial intelligence all this together bring all the system or technology together will bring a solution to the market because what customer they are looking for something new to the market that they haven't seen it before, or they are looking for different technology, different product, quality of product, so that this is all together will bring a solution to the business. So, Antelene, not taking too much, I will leave you there. Thank you very much. Thanks, Vincent. That was awesome. Now we go on to Oliver Fante. Hi, everybody. And I want to thank also all the our followers that are out, that are out there. You know, I see more, more, I'm almost 200 or about 201. I want to thank all of them uh, to come and learn something also and uh, see how uh, we are interact. It's, it's a more of an interactive uh, uh, 
webinar. So thank uh, Madi, Red, Tony, and Auntie Lynn for taking your time to organize everything with us uh, all, all for, for, for the past four months plus. I want to say thank all of you. Yeah, um, uh, on passing the solution to um, business challenges. On passive alone, when you look from our building of our products from scratch with AI, automated and integration, that is that is already that is already a solution that no company, none, no, no one, they do have. You know, just those three alone has put us that that the challenges a lot of companies will come to us because we've already that we've already beaten with beating them all the other companies out there or outsmart them with our ai and the automation all companies now even myself yourself all of us want everything to be automated now because with um, um all the manual work now that people were doing it takes time like my brother Connie said it takes time now everything is automated Automation now comes in, you know, and all those handwork, manual work, tactical work. Now everything is automated. It make us understand that we are, we are, we are, we are, we are the solution to the business challenges, you know, because a CEO will not want to take something that he will do for for one hour or thirty minutes. It would, it would, it would take him or she maybe two hours. For example, our old mail, the what our CEO demonstrated to us the other day, that you will just lie on your couch and you talk. You give the content of your email and you say send is send. It's automated within minutes, second. So those are the type of stuff that the, our challenges come, come with. Then come again, we have our products. We have the, the price. The products are above market value. What we have now in the market, there's no match with what we do have now in the market. Because they're all our products are embedded with AI in it. And it can be integrated with any with, with, with other with other products. You know, so we have our price. Price also, as my, my other colleagues have mentioned, is we have affordable price. You know, so whatever the price is now in the market, we are going to beat them with, with, with the price. And uh, customer service or customer satisfaction. Our customers are going to be satisfied because they are going to have the best of the best of the products. You know, for also affordable, affordable price. That we cannot, we, we cannot beat that also in the market. Look at our employees also. Look at the salaries, compounded salaries, monthly compounded salaries. And we do maintain, on passive maintain their employees. On passive doesn't fire or does that they will say that you come and work for two years contract or one year contract. After that, they dump you or they send you back, they ship you back to your country. Like other this, the other tech companies here, Microsoft, Google, they are doing. They want to take employees then from India and come give them two years contract, one year contract. After they finish their project, they send them back. No. We maintain our employees. Why do we maintain our employees? So that they should be they should be more efficient, more discovery, more update that they will be doing. And the more they do it, and with the and familiar, familiarizing themselves with AI, that is those are the challenges that that um, uh, the, the the solution for the challenges that we are passive is going to have. The CEO hire some other employees. They are product. They are what they do. They just sit in Hyderabad, brainstorm, brainstorm. You know, how, how those products, how are we going to improve on those products? Those are the solutions that, 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 are going, that, 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 we, are going, that we are going to bring um, uh, on the table. Let me also talk about security. Because no matter how, what we'll talk and go where we'll go, security is the key. Because those data that we are going to deal with, our customers, their data, we have to respect them, they must be secured. And with the work of AI, artificial intelligence, our security, you, you will not be able to beat them. Not at all. You will not be able to beat our security. Our security is the top, top, top because it comes with AI, spams free. You know, also with, with our email. Our most um, um, most companies are going to that they are going to save money from email engineering department, email security in, in, um, department because they will not have all those spams. So th that that is that is a major. Um, a solution there. Then, like we always say, that CEOs we refer CEOs to on passive because of our products. How affordable our products are, you know, above market value. It is big. Because what anything any CEO want to talk, 
being in the industry is about um, uh, um, uh, budget, 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 budget. And what it money in any company is the software that they use. The software that they use. Look at all staff alone. All staff, where we all work, my brothers and we all work, we'll have five different applications for, for all staff. Five different applications for all staff. Now we have, for, 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 for human resource, I'm sorry. But now we do have one. Everything combined in one. That is a major solution to our business challenges. That the company is going to save money, put more money into employee their pocket. And like the CEO said, that on passive is going to be the solution for the stimulus plan. I'll leave it there. Until then. Thank you, Oliver. All right, now we go on to Mr. Red Redford. You can take the floor. Hey guys, everyone hear me okay? Cool, nice to be here. Sorry I was a bit late, but I was just doing my live. Uh, so I had to do that when I got wet, Never mind. So we're talking about business and on passive. Now, I want to take it right back to basics as far as business is concerned. They say you need three things to be successful in business, and that is location, location, and location. Why do they say that? Well, they say that plainly and simply because it means you are going to get either footfall, which is people passing your business, or you are going to get eyes on your business. And that is what is so important as far as a business is concerned. If people do not see you, and that is your, your product, your service, whatever you are doing, they are not going to buy, you are not going to sell. Plain and simple. So how is on passive going to help the business person out there? How is it going to improve their chances of having the right location online. And at the end of the day, that is what is so important. You have so many companies that promise you first page of Google. Why are they promising you that? Because you're the first eyes to be seen online. And that's what they are striving to do, to have their business when someone puts anything in the search engine of Google and their product fits the bill. They want to be on that first page because they say that retention of people scrolling is seconds and i mean maybe two and a half seconds i think people scroll for something like that before they move on so you have to be there in their eye to begin with right at the beginning this is why they pay for ads this is why google are a multi-billion dollar company because they are paying that company to be on that first page so what is on passive going to do they are going to put, for a start, from word go, they are going to put your company's products and services in front of, from day one, one and a half million people. Day one. Okay. It's going in front of you, that one and a half million people. Within another month, how many is it going to be? Two million? Three million? I have no idea. But this is how it is all going to work. This is why um, uh, Ash Mufara said, we are going to be the hunted. Yes, at the beginning, we are going to be paying an awful lot of money for advertising. And we are going to advertise everywhere. We're going to be on billboards. We're going to be Burj Khalifa, for instance, TV, radio, Google, Facebook, absolutely everywhere we will be advertising. And over time, what's going to happen is it's going to turn turtle. Companies are going to start wanting to advertise with us because we have the consumership. We have the people that are there that are going to be looking at their products. So regardless of all of our products, and they are superior, above market value, as we are told, and you can pick any of them. Don't forget what was on passive first designed to do back in 2018. It was a digital marketing platform specifically designed to have all of these products and services for marketing a business online in one place. And there was commissions involved as well. But that was the whole ethos of it in the very first beginning. So that has never changed, right? As far as businesses are concerned, 
If you are in the on passive ecosystem, you will be able to use the products and services of on passive to your business advantage. Everybody, every business has a marketing budget. What do they do with that marketing budget? Most of them spread it far and wide, but they always track how successful each one is. When it becomes successful, they end up probably putting more money into the one that is more successful. Just imagine that they put some into on passive on day one. They have a fantastic return. Remember what did Ashmi Farah said about the uh, rate of investment return as far as traffic was concerned? He's looking at 20% plus. Most companies are happy if they get one to 3%. So just imagine the amount of revenue that will be coming into on passive as far as advertising is concerned, if people are going to get those sort of returns on people looking at their business. So quite simply, on passive really is changing the way that people are going to advertise their businesses online. The old traditions are going to be history. The new way is going to be the on passive way. Ash Mufara has told us we will be having uh, training sessions for businesses on how to market online because of the on passive way. We are showing the way, we are driving forward the new way of doing business and advertising online. They are going to come to us whether they like it or not because they want to have the best location, location location, anywhere on the internet. That's all for me. Back to you, Lynn. Thank you. Great points there. What we're going to do now is with, I want to take it to the gallery so that we can all appear. So right now we're um, at the point where we're going to be taking questions and comments from the attendees here. And we have one at this time uh, that I would like to relay to you. So attendees, if you have questions and comments, you can write them in the question and answer section. That's the easiest for us to see because it doesn't scroll up and up like the chat does. So if you can put your questions into the Q and A section, that would be very helpful. And if you don't not know how to see that, then just type your question into the chat. Our panelists will all be attending to the chat and we will be selecting questions and comments that are appropriate and relevant to the topic at hand, which is on passive, the solution to business challenges. So I'm asking our panelists to help us decipher the chat. I do have a relevant question asked by Sheikh Taj of India. So we can start with, with this person's question. Hi, hello, all the great dedicated leaders. Oh, not that one, sorry, there was another one. Um, Let me find it. Okay, for some reason I clicked the wrong button and it disappeared. But he was this person was saying that he's very excited about mark the marketing aspect, but he has no idea about marketing. And he was wondering if on passive will be, be doing some training or guidance as far as marketing because he's very excited about it. So I figure one of you can go ahead and answer that question. Just unmute. Probably one of our marketing guys can answer that. Uh, if no one's else taking it, I'll take it. Uh, as far as my, uh, training services on marketing is concerned, as far as a company is, they will not be giving training videos for marketing. They will be tra giving training videos for how each product is going to work. And then if that is something that you want to use for your marketing, then you can go and market that as well. But this is where Academy comes in. Remember that one product, Academy? There will be us, some of us here that are marketers, and we will probably be putting uh, training sessions up on Academy as far as how to market online. Uh, that is how it will work as far as the company is concerned there will not be anything official as far as marketing 
Uh, it's not an area they want to get into. OK, this is in, uh, individual up to you. You mark it however you like. They are supplying us with the products and services for you to use to market. Uh, but some of us here who are marketers, uh, Tony is, I know I am. I know Marty DeGamo is and many of us uh, will be plugging into Academy and basically doing training sessions through Academy and OConnect on how to market online using the products of OnPassive. Back to you, Lynn. Thank you. I just wanted Very to good. add to that, Lynn, if I could. Sure. Uh, perfectly stated, uh, Red, you're 100% right. Absolutely 100%. Uh, but we also have to understand, too, for the for the people that do not do not know how to market, uh, remember, it's also a plug-and-play system. Okay? It's an automated system. The system will automatically market for you. So you don't need to market. Okay? So I just thought I'd throw that in there uh, for some of you that think that you might need to have you that you might think you, need, you have to market. You don't have to market. Uh, the marketing part of it, like Red just said, are for the people that know how to market like myself and Red and, and Marty and many other people, but it's an automated system. The company is going to market for you so you don't need to market, okay? Just thought I'd yeah. throw that in there, thank you. Yeah, cracking point. I actually did that my life today was about uh, specifically about choices. And this was all I talked about was on passive is designed for a totally 100% automated process. So you don't have to do anything. But if you are the type of person who wants to get going, get busy, get to your goal quicker, then that's where myself, Tony, Marty, others are all going to come into play and help you if you want to do it. But it's a choice at the end of the day. It's not something that you have to do. You're still going to be very successful. Uh, having this automated. Fantastic work, Tony. Thank you. I think we answered that question quite well. Thank you. I see a question here from Tusiman, T-U-C-I-M-A-N, who asks, how can we be so sure that our products are going to sell? So someone can take that. How are we so sure our products are going to sell? Our, our products, our, our, I can do that. Let, let, Marty, let Marty go on that one. Yeah. How we could be sure that our products are going to sell is they're selling now by the billions of dollars a year. Zoom is out there. All these products are out there with a different name. The difference will be the value that you get from Unfastened. The Zoom that you're watching now is $10,000 a month. Okay, when you see Unpassive come out with O-Connect, look at the comparison. For one thing, it'll be unlimited, and the value will be off the chart different. It, it, the value of all the products will blow you away. And the AI induced that every product has. Now listen, it's not like we reinvented. We, we didn't make something new. We're taking what was out there and made it better. That's how we know it's going to sell. Ash didn't try to reinvent something. He said, what we have is garbage. Let's make it better. So when you compare the two, you'll find one of them doesn't belong on the chart. And it won't be on passive. So that's how we know it's going to sell because it's already selling. Very smart. We're not reinvent reinventing a wrench. It is what it is. We took what was out there and made it much, much better because it was customer driven, wasn't driven by the the big buck. So you'll see really quick why it sells. It's selling right now by the billions and billions of dollars. Manny, let me just yes. add to that. Okay. Oh, oh, Bob, you want to come in? Let me just add and then you come in. I like this type of question sometimes. It really like make me go crazy. I don't know if it's because I mean, technology so what i want to i want to say here is most it company out there are making a lot of money with rubbish technology they are building we know them first we have to remember that we are now in the technology age and technology is still a virgin a fertile ground it's just like you tell a farmer that this cow or this goat you are really how are you sure that you're going to sell it and you know people need food. 
or this vegetable you are planting, how are you sure that you're going to sell it? And we know we need food in this world. Technology is the food for this era, is the food. And what Mr. Ash Mufara have done, as Madi said, it's nothing new because they're already there. It's just that we have made it better. You know, you are already there because a lot of people don't know that they're already consumed by technology. And if you don't follow the digital age, you know what, technology will leave you behind. It's just like you say, you don't want to use a visa or a MasterCard. What will happen? You will not take your money in the bank because now check is disappearing. You know, all of those things, papers, it's just that people are going paperless. That is technology. But we are talking about disruptive technology in our ecosystem. If you have really take a close look into the unpassive ecosystem, you'll never ask this type of question you're asking that, how do you know you're going to sell? We have OPA. Mr. Ashford, I don't need to promote OPA. All of us will use it. All of us will use OPA. It's better than what Skype or, or WhatsApp we are using. It will kick all of those in the bucket. Look at Telegram. The person who asked that question, when um, this thing, um, um, Facebook has this issue where there was like this shutdown of Facebook. What happened? Telegram made a lot of money. Telegram made a lot of money, a lot of money. Within six hours, they made a lot of money. That is technology. We are talking about on passive camera with something so sophisticated and disrupt and, and really, you know, it is really the nature of on passive is something you cannot even doubt it. You cannot even doubt this. Mr. Ash Mufara can just sit alone and say, I don't need any founder and become the world richest man the world richest man overnight. There is something that he's not interested in because he wants to give it. So if you are a founder, my, my goodness, you are in a better place. Unpassive is the place to be. If you understand what we are, we are talking about. All right, who was, oh, I see. Uh, this is a good system, panelists. When you wanna chime in, raise your hand. That'll be a cue, then we won't talk over each other. What do you think? Raising hands will probably work. So we're going to recognize Red right now. Go for it, Red. I was just going to chip in, actually, really quickly. I, I love this subject as well, you know, because it actually makes me laugh, really. And I'm going to piggyback on what Marty said uh, about we're just, we are bringing something new that's already there. Now, everybody cast your minds back, okay, when Google wasn't the big town guy in town, AOL, Ask Jeeves, remember them? Where are they that now? There was nothing wrong with them. They were fantastic in their day, but something better, something new, something that the consumer wanted to use because it ticked their boxes. And that's why their other companies are not here now. It's not because they didn't do the job properly. It's not because they weren't good at the time. It's just that a new, better technology company has come along with the same thing, but made it better. What the hell do you think on passive is doing? Right? They are bringing what we've got better than anything else that's out there now. And it's going to be 100% consumer driven. Whether whether businesses like it or not is immaterial. It will be the user, the consumer that will drive it forward. And they are going to Everybody does it on a daily basis. You go shopping, you're down the aisle, you buy cornflakes because you like cornflakes. You go down the aisle one time, new brown up there, two for one. So you're getting two for the price of one. You take it home, you try it. Oh, these are nice, aren't they? I'm going to stick with this because they're cheaper and they're the same or better. We do it all the time. You know, whenever we're shopping, you want that bargain. You want something that's going to give you value. So this is what we are bringing to table. Any angle that you can think of, our CEO and company has already thought of it and implemented it whilst we're just thinking about it. Every angle has been covered. Doesn't all roads go to Rome? period it doesn't matter what you're looking for where you're going they're all going one way on passive and guess how people are going to get there through us founders plain and simple win 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 back over to you guys that was great red awesome now we go to bob yeah red you just took that out of from me but 
you know um let's look at look at our products what we are actually bringing the, the, the thing is that we, we are using most of these products now currently we we are we are seeing here that there, there is absolutely no match to the to the person who posed that question on passive products are over over market value based on what we know what we what we are we are seeing right now in the industry they, there's just no match to what Unpassive is bringing in, you know. Let's look at old stuff. Oliver talked about old stuff uh, uh, when he spoke, you know. Old stuff is a product that is combining almost six or seven different, depending on your company structure, six or seven different applications. You know, you come into work, you you you, you at the end of the week, you you put in your timesheet, right? That you've worked your forty hours. You want to. Uh, you are sick, you go to a different application to put in your sick time. You want to take time out to put in, you want to check your pays, your pay for the week, you go to a different application, you want to do training. So there are about five or six different applications. All passive comes, puts that together in one application for you. Every company is going to, and makes it better. It's better than each of those uh, applications. All, and all these companies are multi-million dollar corporations. All passive brings them, puts them in one application. Each of those types of most of that you see, there are multi-million dollar companies. All passive brings them, puts them in one application for you to, to, to use. You don't have to go in, come out and log in. And it, it just makes your, 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 your life easier, you know? So what are you going to do? Administrative costs are brought down. Each CEO wants to see their costs down, like Oliver says all the time, and increase productivity. That's what is happening. Are you going to get the all passive old stuff? or you keep on buying multiple different applications, bring it into one HR system that you have, paying licenses, because each of these, each of these products, whether, whether, whether your company has 1,000 employees or 200 employees, you pay for the licenses for each of those users, those people are using that, those applications. So multiply, let's say you have 1,000 employees, multiply that by five, you know? So you are paying for 5,000 licenses, for all these products for your old staff, but Opacity is coming and giving you your old staff for your HR product or your, uh, your system. Opacity is giving you a system which is unmetered. That is, I mean, that's no brainer. Back to you, Antilly. Thank you, Bob. We go now to Oliver. No, I just, I mean, Bob, Bob just, um, uh, oh, he said, oh, what you said. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I'm going to pick another question from the Q&A. So people, you're doing a great job, attendees. You're, I see some really good questions in the Q&A. We will be selecting questions that we feel are uh, relevant to our topic today. So the next question that I'm going to select is, Kushu, Kushbu Agrawa from Nepal is here. Thank you for joining us. And he says, sir, I have a shop for garments. Could I take it to an unpassive and how? In other words, how can he benefit? He has garments for sale. Any one of you can take that. Red, go ahead. Okay, two ways, okay, that you can do this. Uh, in fact, three ways, really. Uh, we're gonna have an old, uh, a commerce o-commerce okay so you'll be able to market your uh website through o-commerce which is going to be one of the products of on passive uh you have we've got uh o marketplace as well which is another part where you'll be able to put specific items of your garments for sale uh, in the marketplace of on passive and also the other thing as well is you will be able to buy targeted traffic to your website of your business so those three ways are three individual ways that you will be able to get uh, either eyes on your products or be able to offer your products for sale back to you thank you great answer we have another good question by john wilkes he asks do you foresee microsoft google and the bigger platforms uh, platform providers coming to on passive to improve their businesses. So big corporations, will they come to us for our products and services? 
Absolutely, 100%, Lynn. <clears throat> yeah, we, we have everything that every business has. We have all the products and services. We have the, uh, uh, the guaranteed traffic uh, that they're going to need to attract uh, uh, customers for their businesses. We have, uh, uh, we have um, a human resources platform called uh, All Staff. Uh, we have All Desk. We have All Connect. Uh, which is a platform like uh, Zoom, except a heck of a lot better than Zoom here, and uh, it's all under one umbrella. And they're and and with the old Connect, for example, they're able to connect with people around the world. Uh, if this company has offices in different parts of the world, they'll be able to connect with their uh, uh, with their managers and their employees through all Connect. Uh, we have everything everyone needs in on passive. We have the solution for absolutely. Everyone and every businesses, uh, like I said earlier, uh, grandmas, grandpas, we have uh, a social platform for people that just love to go on social platforms and uh, and talk to uh, their friends and families and so on. We have everything any, everybody needs. And corporations, absolutely. That's what this was built for, uh, mainly for corporations to come in as customers to use our products. Uh, and we also created other uh, other things like, for example, the plug and play system uh, for people that um, don't have a business, but yet they want to make some money. Uh, we have that, too. We have the plug and play system. So we have, uh, like I said, we have everything for everyone here. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. We go on now to Marty DeGarmo to elaborate further. Yeah, customers will definitely come to Unpassive. The reason will be the same reason that they go to Facebook now. We will become the hunted. We will be the consumer. You hit you hit tens of millions of people, maybe a billion, and what are we really? We're consumers. So big companies will come here to advertise what they have to sell. No doubt about it. It's happening on Facebook every day. It happens in Google every day. This will be the place to go. Why? They can come to the marketplace. They can ask the company, hey, I'd like to put an ad on people's uh, pages, your website. You can okay it. And they put on something. Maybe Nike's got those shoes or whatever it is. Absolutely big companies will come here. I actually believe that MLM companies will come so that they can also give their um, affiliates, the tools, the tools that Unpassive can help them drive their business. So we answer a lot of problems for many, many companies. So yeah, they, they will definitely be working and need what we have, which one thing will be consumer. So. Thank you, Marty. Bob Takusi is next. Uh, yes, let me just add one thing. Thank you, Tony. I just <laughs> opened my brain a little bit. You know, when so Tony talked about O Connect, our products are going to be used by all these companies. Google, they are all they are all multi-billion dollar corporations. They have their products and services. Yes, we go, they're going to use us to enhance them themselves as well. Let's just use O Connect that Tony talked about. Remember, uh, uh, Microsoft has what they call Teams. I, I have Teams. I use Teams. We also have Cisco Webex. I use both of them. You know, on passive comes in, we have uh, our uh, auto language translator, the closed caption, where these companies are more uh, uh, multinational, they're in different countries around the world. So they can have this uh, corporate worldwide broadcasts, and they, our auto translator will help them because you are in Japan, you're speaking in Japanese in Japan, and your employees are over here in the United States. They can enable the closed caption and they will hear you in your language. I know that Microsoft does not have that. I've not seen that in Microsoft Teams. I don't know if Oliver has. I know that Cisco WebEx, Cisco has something that they call Cisco WebEx translation services, but they're using a third party to do that translation, but it's just on your screen. It's not more time translator that we know that Opacity is bringing. So they are going to need to use us until they enhance their systems to catch up with us. And by the time they catch up with us, <laughs> we are somewhere else. We are we are, you know, years away again from them. So yeah, thank you. Thank you, Bob. Tony. 
Yeah, I just wanted to, this is a great subject, Lynn. Um, yeah, absolutely, Bob, 100%. Now, remember, our CEO, Ash, has also stated that uh, eventually Nike or a huge company is going to approach one of us, one of us founders, and say, look, can I pity back off your um, off your website? Can I put my ad on your website? Do you realize there's a lot of blogs out there with huge corporations that rent a space on, blo- on a blog? for millions of dollars on a monthly basis. Can you imagine one of these companies, one of these big, huge conglomerates uh, uh, um, getting in touch with one of us and asking us if they can put their banner on our website? That's huge. That is huge. When you have a huge corporation that spends that kind of money on a monthly basis, I mean, that's pretty much riches overnight. It's it's a great concept, uh, and it also um, it, it's it's another revenue of um, of income as well, uh, besides what we already have. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Tony Oliver. Yes, um, on passive is good. We are going to have our own university. Bis- on passive business university because a lot of companies who come to us if you look at our structure the way the ceo has put the structure of on passive it has never ha- no company it has never happened L- look at the way we operate look at our products you know with ai embedded into automation integration most of the company they are doing by patching they patch and when you get to some certain level they will stop because when you you, you proceed the whole system will collapse and for them to start to build a new structure, like my black colleagues always say that if they want to, they will take about three, four, five years. It took us how many years to come out to, for unpasses to be unpassive what it is? And the structure, this is, we are, we are in more than four years now. So unpassive is going to be, it's going to have unpassive business university that a lot of companies will come to us to come and learn. Look at our data center. Look at our data center. Fiber optic that is connected to all the servers with, a, with, with laser on top of it. Power, we have backup power, two backup powers. Internet, we have two backup internet. One drop, the other one pick up. You know, our financial system, plan B, plan C. You know, so zero failure, zero failure. So when we get into the market, game over. There will be nothing like risk. So there's no risk in unpassing. Yeah, in security, we, we don't give 100% risk. But for what I know with, with our system and with our business module, hybrid, there's none. So they will come to us for advice. They will come to us, Mr. Ash Mufara, please teach us, how do you do this? How do you go about it? And we, and we, and we are going to give them some lessons. Thank you. Thank you very much. I see a question from Christy Fernando Chung of Malaysia. It's a business problem type question, so it's relevant. She says, many times, Companies' database is lost or sold to certain marketing companies. Is there on passive software that can prevent such loss? So I believe any one of us IT, one of you IT people can answer that. Maybe Vincent, because that's your field, database. Oh, go ahead, Oliver. Let me take it. Maybe Vincent come to call us about. First, our data that our CEO has promised us that our data will not go out. They will not sell our data. That's the first thing, customer satisfaction. Our data is not like the other companies that oh, everybody data is out there. Our data is not going to go out there. And the second question was about database. Maybe Vincent will take that or I can continue, Vincent. Okay, so our our data, yeah. So I would say our data is uh, is uh, secure because uh, the I would see uh, one of the round table. He said we have a two big database out there. So our two database, big two database, is a uh, more secure. We have an encryption system. We have a database moving in uh, moving. So when the data is in moving, is encrypted. When the data it has rest, is also encrypted. So we have also firewall for the database as well. So all the security system for our database is there. So we have the most secure database environment for on passive. So for that, I guarantee that we are secure database and then the our database also secure in the secure uh, data center. 
So, and then also on top of that is embedded with uh, artificial intelligence system, AI, which in the AI security system in top of all this system, Windows security system. So we have all the security there. And then we have SSL and then we have a TSL. So all this security is talked to our database. So I guarantee that we have the best secure database in the world at the moment. Thank you. Bob Takusi can speak next. Yes, thank you, Vincent. And just to add, our entire database, our CEO told us our entire database is encrypted. That is a very, very expensive venture. Mr. Ash Mufara is very, very, very security oriented. To encrypt our entire database, most companies, what they do is they encrypt just the, the columns, the, the, the columns that have personally identifiable information to save money. But Ash Mufara encrypts the entire database just to, to secure it, like brother Vincent said. So that is guaranteed. And then I want to go back to what uh, brother Oliver said. Yes, Mr. Ash Mufara looked all of us here in the eyes, maybe sometime last year, and told us our data is not going to be so. And I believe him. And then the other one thing that I believe him is because at the end of the day, on passing, we are going to be, there's no need for us, for him. People, companies, they, they sell their data because they want to make money, right? They want to generate more revenue. There's not, there's not going to be a need for that for us because we, we are the data. Everybody is going to be coming to us. So on Passive and Mr. Ash Mufara, they will not need to sell our data out there. And he guaranteed us. He looked us straight in the eyes and said, we are not going to sell your data. And I believe him. Thank you. I think that answers the question sufficiently. Now we go to Kido, K-H-I-D-O in South Africa. He says, being a founder or a reseller, is there, is there a guarantee that you're going to make money? So if the majority will be in it, meaning in on passive, who's going to buy these products? As most will be in business, either as a founder or reseller. I guess he's saying that we're all in it. So where are the consumers? Where are the people that are going to buy the products of Unpassive? I'm sure one of you can answer that. Well, let me try and somebody maybe, oh, okay, sorry, go ahead, Collins. Go ahead, Collins. <laughs> I know the marketers are here, but let me try this. You know, there are questions when they ask, sometimes you flash back to other companies. We are talking about companies out there who also have 2.5 billion customers. Remember, all of us are founders, but we'll be customers. We are all consumers. Now, when you look at and you ask the question, if all of us are this, who are those to buy? We are the consumers. We are founders, but we are consuming. We are also paying for these products and services. It is not a charity organization. Remember, you subscribe once, you, 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 you become a founder, and then you have to pay a subscription. And every month, you are, you, they take the subscription out of your, your proceed. So you are consuming because you have to pay for it. The fact that you are a founder doesn't mean you don't have to pay. But the only difference with founder is, is coming off your proceed. And look at resellers, the same thing. Customers, they pay for it month in, month out. And remember, majority of the people will be customers because they don't really, they, some of them, major companies don't want to make money. They want to buy the product and make the money themselves. Like what Tony said, Dwight said, and Maddie have already talked about this. They will come and buy major companies. Remember, Mr. Ash Bufara said, companies that are struggling. They will come in a long run, the uh, on passive will start to give them something. But there are companies that, you know, they just want to come as customers, buy the program services, go and use it and make money. And some of them will really do well by using on passive products and services. They will make a lot of money because of the, the what we will provide. Remember, it's value, value, value. So majority will be customers. That is it. And the customers will bring money. Whether you are resellers, or you are, you, are, you are founders, all of us first, we are all customers. So majority of us, we are all customers and we'll consume this product. That's what I want to add in a, in a short way. Thank you, Collins. Tony. Yes, uh, thank, thanks, Collins, that was perfect. Uh, I just wanted to say this and maybe Marty can pipe in. Uh, um, 
you know, let, let's look at Facebook, for example. We're going to be the hunted, okay, for one thing. Get that, get that in your mind. We're going to be the hunted. Uh, Facebook, for example, there's people that uh, just make uh, money with, with the, within the platform of Facebook, okay? Some people make seven figures a month on a consistent basis, Okay, so like uh, like uh, Collins just said, we're going to be customers, we're going to be resellers, we're going to be, you know, we're we're, going to be everything and on passive, on passive is going to be huge, we're going to have billions of people in on passive, people need something all the time, not just the products they are using on a monthly basis. People buy plungers for their toilets or they buy a dishware or plates or what. We're going to have all of these products in, uh, in, in our platform and on passive. For example, we're going to be our own world. We're going to have absolutely everything everyone needs. OK, because we all need something. All You know, just because I'm, uh, for example, I've got, let's say I'm using a product and on passive on a consistent basis. That's not the only product I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using other products. And then you, and then your question, and then your question for that was, will be, well, what if you run out of the products? We're always creating products constantly on a consistent basis. We are years ahead of time. So there's always going to be something to use on a consistent basis within the platform of OnPassive because we are going to be the hunted. People are going to come to us and they're going to join our organization or our planet or universe or whatever you want to call it. And they're gonna and they're gonna have everything they want on our platform to survive. That's all I have to say there. Uh, thank you. That was great, Tony. Thank you. We go on to Marty de Garmo now. Yeah, Dylan, can you do me a favor and read what that question was again? I deleted it so that I can keep track of what okay, going Okay, okay. But it was something about how are people going to come in if everybody's already here yeah. or something? Basically, if there's so many of us, we are customers and, and eventually resellers, who's going to buy our Who's stuff? Because it's we are, we're so, <clears throat> there's so many of us, I guess that was the question. Okay, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm going to work on being kind. Hold on a second. <clears throat> okay. Uh, there's Almost 5 billion people online. We're about a million. I'm not sure where the numbers might be confusing you, but in one year, we could be 1% of the the company. In two years, we could be less than one-tenth of 1%. So we're, we haven't even started yet. If you went to the shore and grabbed a pinch of salt or sand and picked it up, would you see the level of sand decrease? No. And you won't see an increase by throwing it back down again either. There is, we have not touched anything. Everybody is not in. A million people are in. That's it. The world's got to come through us to get to on passive products. And by the way, he said that probably new products coming monthly. We are so far from being saturated. I mean, it's ridiculous to think that a million people and we're done. We could be bringing in 3 million people in a day. I mean, just think about what you're saying. Think about people got to think a little bigger. You know, I I fell for this. When I came in, there was 15,000 people. And I went, man, that's a lot of people. What are we going to do? But I'm positive it made me think a little bigger. That's a drop in the bucket. The company hasn't even started building yet. We have a million four hundred thousand people, and they have not advertised to build the company yet. It was all word of mouth. What is going to happen when we get in the market and we say, "Hey, you can have this or what you have"? It's called value. Everybody on the planet wants to get the most for their money. Everyone on the planet. Nobody goes out and says. 
I can have that for five dollars. I would much rather spend ten. Nobody I know. So when you have products that are at that value that can't be touched technology wise, they're in super high demand. How do we know? Go look up the market cap on all the products that we have. It's in the trillions. Oh, Academy by itself is a half a trillion dollar business a year. Now, where do you think it's going to be in five years? You think it's going down or up? It's going up. More and more people are going to want to educate their people from home. Everything we have is on an upward trend. But to think that we're saturated, you, it's, it's just absolutely insane to even go down that road. The, this market has not been touched yet. And wh whether people, oh, is there competition? Or are we going to, are we, is it going to be good enough? It? It'll be better than anything out there. It'll be better value than anything out there because we are customer driven. We are value driven. And we are driven by technology and being the best of the best. So we can't compare to companies that were built on greed or maybe capitalism only. I think not. I think you got to think about what we have and where we're going and how we started. And that we didn't even, the gun didn't go off yet. We're, not, we're getting into the blocks. We haven't started. This is going to blow you away. I mean, to if you're thinking that, you've got to think bigger. You've got to think bigger. You're in big trouble if you think, oh, my God, what are we going to do? Are we big enough? Are you kidding me? We have multiple billion-dollar products. We have multiple companies on one platform. And more to come. By the way, everything you know, less than 10% of what's really going on. You know that iceberg? You see that ice hanging out of the top? 99% of it's under the water. You didn't see it yet. That's on passing. So remember, we ain't seen nothing yet. But for the love of God, think bigger. Let your mind go. Because if you're stopped at that, man, I, I wouldn't be in this if I thought that was it. We haven't started yet. The company wants 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 other people to know less. People are coming now already. Other big companies are knocking on the door. What are you guys doing? Trust me, the gun goes off. Fasten your seatbelt. Just hold on tight. But don't worry about what's saturated. We haven't done anything yet. So that's the best way I can explain that. So think bigger. Dream bigger, as says it every time. If you look at all these businesses and we just took 40% of each one, I don't believe that's going to happen. I'm not going to tell you what I believe, but it's more than that. So what happens? And they're going to come to all of us to get here. You cannot come into, as some people say, Emerald City without walking through one of us first. Can't go around us. You can't go up to Ash. You got to come to one of us. And we're just a dot in the ocean. So be happy, but think bigger. Don't let that, if you're getting up thinking that, my God, you're, you're not in the right boat. Get out of that little canoe and get on the love boat or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, that's, that's all I got. Thank you, Marty. I, I do believe that it's difficult for some people to envision what is coming up and on passive. You know, our human brains are limited and sometimes we cannot anticipate or actually visualize the huge volume this company is going to be doing very, very soon. So thank you for explaining that. It gives us a better perspective. Okay, we go now to Tony Monk. Yeah, I just wanted to... Uh, uh, um... Uh, pity back off what Marty was just saying. He said it perfectly. You know, no disrespect to the person that asked the question because there's a lot of people that actually think this way. Uh, it's a scarcity mindset. People that ask that question come from a scarcity mindset. 
uh, you've like Marty said, you've got to think bigger. You've got to expand your horizons. Um, I, I, I've said it before. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. There's five billion people on the internet. You know how long it takes to count to five billion? It takes 244 years to count to five billion. Even if Unpassive just had half of that market, still over a hundred years to count to that many people. Okay, it's a huge market. And when you have that many people, they always want something. So it will never get saturated. And especially if we're constantly creating new products, like I said before, on a consistent basis moving forward, more innovative products. Remember, we have products that's going to change the face of humanity. Our CEO, Ash, said that we have physical products, products that's going to change the planet the physical planet that we're looking at to a much better place. You know, I mean, think about that. Think of how big that is. Okay. Stop with the scarcity mindsets. The scarcity mindsets come from uh, places like uh, multi-level marketing, uh, 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 people that did more multi-level marketing back then. They, they thought this as well. They thought, oh my God, you know, if, um, if so many people come in, then I can't, uh, I can't make any, That's a scarcity mindset, okay? You've got to think bigger than that. Unpassive is humongous. It's huge. You cannot compare Unpassive to anything. Think about it for a minute. All these big conglomerates, all right? Uh, Apple, uh, Amazon, um, you know, all all these big companies that have been around for a while, it took them, they all started in their garage, it took them years to get to billions of dollars, right? We started in the Burj Khalifa, the highest building on the planet. We bought two floors, okay? So think of how big that is. That's not small potatoes. We are a huge company. We have the best products in the world. And you know what? If we don't have a product that humans need, we will create it. There's nothing that will stop us from doing that. You know you know why? Because we don't have to account to shareholders. We don't have to account to anybody. We're free thinkers. We can move very quickly, very, very quickly without answering to anyone. So it's absolutely amazing. Think big, like Marty said, stop thinking scarcity and uh, and get and get your mind expanded because that's what that's what you need to do. And once you do, you're gonna start to become inspired and more engaged with what's going on. And you'll be, you'll be the happiest person on the planet. I can guarantee you that. Thank you. Thank you. We do need to expand our minds, definitely. Collins, Mana, you're next. Please unmute yourself. Yeah, I just want to add something because when Madi was saying something came in my mind straight, I said, no, let me just spit it out there. You know, <laughs> so, you know, when like the question the 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 i think the person asked about when we 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 are all customers resellers founders how are we going to make money because all of us are in on passive so looking at customer we're talking about products 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 customers they are buying the products resellers they are still using the products you know again and and founders we are also using the products it's a win 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 now Look at how customers will come. I want to take only two products. We have Omat and O-Commerce. All the big company will do what? They will come and advertise their products in O-Commerce and Omat. That's where they will come. Millions of companies, you know, now most companies want visibility online. And where would they go on passive? Who are those who buy the products? It is us again. Whether they come with Say Mercedes company come, Volvo company, and all of those companies, they'll go to OMAS, OMAT, or O Commerce. You know, O Commerce will be where they'll be advertising because they want visibility. Who are those doing the searching for those products? It is us, human. It is not aliens. It is us going there. Dresses, Mary Kay, all of them, they will be in there. These are all multi billion dollar companies. They are looking for what potential customers to buy their, their products. And they will come and put it in our OMAT. OMAT is our marketplace. All commerce is our marketplace. And all of us will be jumping there, buying these products. Jumping there, buying these products. Because what? Ompas are giving us that platform. So you are customers, regardless of what you want to think. We, we, they come and they advertise. 
they use our platform, they are customers on on passive. Who are they selling this product to? They are looking for customers in on passive. We are our own monster. You know, we own everything. So we just bring in them and we recycle everybody in spending the money. It's like we want to spend the money within our ecosystem. And that is it. Game over. Game over. I will leave it there. That is exciting, Colin. Marty DeGarmo, take the floor. I can't help myself. Colin, great job. Anyway, I want to add, I want to give you a couple of numbers here, just, just so you can have an idea of why I went a little crazy on the number, okay? We know that there's like 4.6 billion, I think it's 5.6 billion, 5.6 billion that are online. Through technology, don't you think part of the 8 billion that more of them will be coming on? I'm going to give you an example. Since 2005, okay, since 2005, Every single day, 640,000 new people come online. Every day, over a half a million daily. Come on. And what are they going to look for? They're going to look for value. They're customers. Technology is going to increase. Countries are going to be, 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 learn ways to make more money from from companies like Unfasten. Technology will bring com countries that are struggling to get internet on the internet. Where do they go when they get on the internet? They're coming to Unfasten. It's it's going to happen. But you can't bring a half over a half a million people daily, which is going to increase, and worry about a few hundred thousand or a million here or a million there. It just, it's crazy. So I just wanted to let you know, that's that's what kind of numbers are really out there. And we keep working off of a little over half the world's population online. Technology is going to change that. It's going to change it. There's going to be more people and more of those people are going to have access to online. It's coming. Back to what I said, timing. This is perfect timing. The, the world is going into a recession. In fact, they don't want to admit it, but I think we're there. And what do we have? Recession-proof products. Why? Value. Drop the freaking mic. Anyway, that, that's all I got to say. You're right, Marty. It's all about value. And we have the highest value. So this is awesome. All right, thank you to our attendees. I see you're asking some questions. We want you to place your questions and comments in the Q&A section of the webinar. Now, I see that there are questions and comments related to founders, you know, not necessarily questions related to the webinar topic. So we do encourage you to continue to ask questions, but let's steer it to the topic, what the speakers here have spoken about that's what we want to discuss today. And a lot of these questions are founders questions that may, maybe are best answered by your sponsor or by support. So we can keep trying. This is a work in progress. This is the first time that we're doing a Q&A. And as people get accustomed, the questions and comments will get more relevant. So we understand where you're coming from. So continue to ask questions. We will look for relevant questions pertaining to the topic of this webinar. Go ahead, Collins. Just a question someone asked in the chat. He said, what if, um, I think he means, um, if a company comes in and it's bigger than on passive. <laughs> good, okay, good one. In other words, in other words uh, is there a competition, right? It's basically, I'm paraphrasing. So I know the people here on the panel are eager to answer that one. Competition, what about it? Just oh. Go ahead, Tony. Oh, competition. Are you kidding me? There is no competition. <laughs> Big, huge corporations that are going to be coming into on passive are going to use our products and services to better their company, to bring in more customers, more revenue, to make them even bigger. We're going to help them. We're going to help them get bigger. 
there's no competition. Um, you can't compete against Unpassive. Unpassive has everything everyone needs. How can you compete with something like that? Plus, big, huge corporations uh, have to account to um, uh, shareholders, okay? And uh, Unpassive will never go to an IPO, initial public offering. We will never go to the, to the stock market. OK, and that's why we're able to become free thinkers and and move very, very, very quickly uh, years ahead of our of our time. We have uh, we've hired a, a professional IT um, people, men and women uh, that uh, that are three free thinkers. They're allowed to to uh, be creative and come up with creative ideas as we move forward. So we're going to be moving a heck of a lot quicker than a lot of these big, huge corporations. So, so there is no competition because, like I said, they have to answer to their stockholders, right? I mean, their stockholders are not going. To, they're not going to go to their stockholders and say, "Look, uh, Unpassive is way ahead of us. We have to catch up." So uh, your stock, we have to bring your stocks down because we need to, need to borrow that money to catch up to Unpassive. Are you kidding me? People are greedy. They're going to say, no way, no way. I do not want my stock to go down. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, that's the thing that holds them back. And like I said before, uh, we have all the products and services, all these corporate, these huge corporations are going to be coming in by the dozens, believe me, to use our products and services. Back to you, Lynn. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Red? Uh, thanks, Lynn. Uh, competition is actually a word that on passive never use. Why? Because we're not in the competition game. Uh, it's something that has never been focused on as far as on passive is concerned. We have duly, diligently uh, been working for what we want to achieve. It's nothing to do with trying to put people out of business. It's nothing to do with uh, taking something away from another company. And in fact, we will be using a lot of other companies' services in the early stages of OnPassive. Uh, this is not in our mindset at all. What we are after is offering the consumer something that hasn't been done before. And because we are doing this, we do not feel as a business that we are competing against somebody else because everything that we are doing is innovative, it's different, it's new, never been done before. So we have no comparison of competition because there isn't anything to compare us with. Uh, so as far as the mindset of people saying, oh, what about the competition? What about Zoom? What about this? What you nah, nah, nah. We're not after putting these companies out of business. That's not the game plan. The game plan is, yes, to take a partial market share. We're not looking at, we want them to be there because at the end of the day, why wouldn't we want customers and consumers to compare like for like? We want, we want them around. We want them there so that they can have a look at Zoom, have a look at O-Connect and go, which one's better for me? And make that choice and decision. Uh, so we're after taking little bits of everybody that is out there bringing them in to our ecosystem. And when we do that, then as we keep on saying, we will be the hunted because all these little bits that we are taking from all of the other um, businesses, that will make us a huge company. We're starting off big anyway, uh, but uh, as time progresses, people will be coming to us, whether they like it or not, because they will have to use us i'm going to say this again and i've said it many many times the data center alone right is going to be the biggest game changer that is out there now we all we all know of amazon right we all use amazon now amazon started as a secondhand bookstore okay doing secondhand books which is a very good uh documentary if you ever want to know the evolution of amazon by the way i divulge and now they are the largest internet business. And I think they have the, probably the first trillion dollar business on the internet to date. But do you know that more than 50% of their business is not from buying and selling? It's not from delivering, which we all think is how Amazon make their money. It's from their AWS services, which is a data center. That is their largest part of their revenue 
that they have in their, their company. And nobody knows about it, which is the ironic thing. We are going to be having, I think there's only maybe four or five companies in the world that have the similar type of capacity data centers. And we are rubbing shoulders with these kind, kind of guys. And when you come into the marketplace offering the same amount, same amount of service and bandwidth and all the rest of it that is needed for their cloud hosting, and you say, I'll give it you unlimited for half the price, what do you think these companies are going to do? Like Tony said, they're beholden to shareholders. They have to show profit. And this is a massive way of being able to shave off uh, static costs of a business and being able to show a greater profit. And that's what they're going to do. And again, that will bring millions, if not billions of dollars into the company of OnPassive. That's it for me. Back to you. Great, Red. Now we go on to Marty DeGarmo. Absolutely, Red. Hey, here's the thing. Look, the company is based on what? Consumer and value. Let the chips fall where they may. We're not in here to say, oh, we're going to take over that. We're going to take over this. A story, since Red mentioned this, it's a very good, there's a very good video about it. When Amazon came on, they came online. Afterwards, Barnes & Noble came on. They were a multi-million dollar company. Huge. And th those guys got together with uh, Jeff Bezos and said, oh, my God, Amazon just, I mean, Barnes & Noble just came online. What are we going to do? He said, I can't do anything about Barnes & Noble. I'm going to focus on the customer and give them what they want. Barnes & Noble's gone. I'm passive. Same thing. Focus on what the customers need. As we find the company never mentioned money. Why? Do they have to? No. You mentioned value. We don't mention competition. We mentioned we're going to give the customers the best experience of their life in every product we make. The competition, there is no competition. It's about doing the best for people, giving them the best quality, the best technology. Let the chips fall where they may. But competition, it's just not there. Like Red said, we, with, who can you compare us to? All of those companies took 10, 20, 30, some 90, some 100 years to make a billion dollars. We're going to start with more money, more value than companies ever made in the history of their company in a lot of cases. So don't worry about that. Don't worry about where it's going to happen. If you focus on the right thing, the chips will fall where they may. And some people won't be happy with those chips land. Anyway, that's all I got. <clears throat> So Marty, I would say that on passive is a new sheriff in town. So watch out world as we watch what on passive has to offer it. Thank you very much. All right, now we go to uh, Kido, who is in South Africa. He asked several questions, but the one that's relevant to today is the traffic question. He asks, does one have to be popular for targeted traffic to buy from you. So it's a traffic question, which is relevant to business solutions. Anybody can take that. Tony, go ahead. I'm sorry, let me see if I got the answer. Does one have to be popular in order to have guaranteed targeted traffic? Is that what he's saying? So how, how do we get traffic to buy from us? Do we have to be popular? And then the traffic will say, oh, I like your products or services, therefore, I'm going to buy from you. I guess that's the question. Okay. Well, the tra tra the traffic uh, we have um, uh, we have agencies. That I, I believe we have agencies that we work with uh, traffic um, uh, in uh, Singapore. Uh, that's going to be dealing with the traffic part of it. I don't know exactly how it's going <clears> to <throat> how it's going to come about, but what I know is what Ash did say uh, not too long ago on a webinar. Uh, that uh, he wouldn't be happy if the return on investment wasn't 20 to 25 percent. What I've been used to in the past as a marketer is uh, if I got one percent or two percent, I'd be the happiest guy on the planet. 
we're talking about 20 to 25%. So where he's getting that traffic from, I, ha I have no idea. I can just assume I know where it's coming from because I, I, I've been dealing with this for a long time, but I'm not going to make any assumptions. But what I'm going to say is that obviously the traffic he's going to be using is uh, second to none. It's, it's probably the best traffic on the planet as far as I'm concerned. This is a man that created a list of 850 million people. You know, I mean, that's unheard of. You know, a lot of these seven figure earners that make seven figures a month, they're lucky if they have 3 million people on their list. You know, so obviously he knows where to get the traffic. He uses different forms uh, um, of marketing to get this traffic. What he does is he creates a, uh, um, a, a, um, a, a frenzy of, uh, of people out there that want what we have by marketing. Um, he brands us. He's branding on passive. And he started in the Burj Khalifa, in Dubai at the, at the Burj Khalifa when we advertised on the side of the Burj Khalifa, plus all these screens, the digital screens and so on. What that does is it creates awareness. So eventually what happens is we become the hunted when it comes to something like that, that, that type of marketing. Uh, but the, but the, the traffic is, uh, is absolutely amazing. I was, I was thrown for a loop. For example, uh, let, you know, in the old days, if I bought a thousand clicks, it would cost me a thousand dollars to buy a thousand clicks. I'd be lucky if I got 50% return, uh, sorry, 50% uh, opt-in rate, people that would put, their, put in their emails and, and, and their details on that form, 50%. I'd be very, very, very surprised. Let's say um, passive gets 50% because these are guaranteed targeted traffic people that are looking for what we have. So if, if let's say the, uh, uh, the um, opt-in rate is 50%, now we've got 500 people that are interested. They're already in the platform, okay? Let's say in the old days, 1% conversion rate, a return on investment, 1%, that would be five people that would have bought the products. In this case, we're talking 20%. Ash is talking 20, 25%. Let's use the 20% in that scenario I just brought up. That's 100 people that just bought the products, not five, 195 more people bought the products. Now that is huge. That is huge. The traffic is absolutely phenomenal in on passive where he's getting the traffic from. I have no idea. Uh, obviously he knows where to get, where to get it. So, uh, but, uh, but it's, it's, it's fantastic. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to leave it there, Lynn, and pass it on to uh, red here. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Tony. Go ahead, Red. Okay, traffic. Uh, do we have to be popular? No, we don't, because that's not how it works. Uh, when we purchase, uh, uh, when we activate our accounts with as a founder with on passive, then part of that activation is we get traffic. Now, everybody as a founder will get the same amount of traffic uh, there or thereabouts, but that doesn't guarantee anything past that stage and why because say for instance we get 200 uh clicks or traffic whatever you want to call it uh for us i might be the luckiest person in the world and i might get 20 sales out of that 200 tony here he has it 200 again and he only gets one sale this is why when people say one position how much am i going to earn there's not a one system fits all it is completely variable as uh ash has said uh it's going to be very hybrid different and all the rest of it and that is because there's no guarantee as far as uh who is going to buy who is not going to buy but one thing is guaranteed is that people will get the same amount of traffic the popularity is going to come from the consumer wanting something OK, that's where popularity, viral, whatever you want to call it, it only needs for kids to get hold of it. And that's what causes viral effects. It's happened so many times. Just to name a few, uh, Instagram, WhatsApp, TikTok. There's three just off the bat that have all gone viral because of consumership. The way that it works, you know, it just explodes very, very quickly. The same could happen with any one of our products or services. It only needs that one, to get hold of it, boom, it's going to go mad. So that when the uh, traffic is going out, okay, 
if people have heard about it or seen it or whatever, then the popularity of that product that they've already know about, you're going to have a much better click through rate and sign up rate for it. Uh, but one thing's for sure, traffic is there guaranteed as a founder uh, because it's what we are paying the company to do at the end of the day. This is the automation. They give us a domain name, build us a website, targeted traffic. And that's why it is a passive income and why you do not have to do anything because they get busy on your behalf. Back over to you. Great points. Thank you, Red. We go now to Marty DeGarmo. I wish I could have went before Red. But anyway, yeah, what they were saying, the, the point is, the question was, does somebody get more traffic because they're popular? The answer is traffic is blind. It doesn't care who you are. He's going to run X amount of visitors to each one of us. And like Red said, I could have 100 visitors, 50 pay if I'm lucky. Red could have the same 140 pay. Uh, Tony could have 105 pay. We, we don't know that. Now, AI kicks in and works with these people. And I think that's where you get the percentage will increase. But they all, I think people also think, well, is Marty going to get more because he's Marty? No. I might get more because I'm going to market. Now, that's the only way. I mean, I might add more because I'm adding more. But you could, you could go down passive and say, fill up your cabinet, fill up your wallet, fill up your gas tank and say, look, I want to take this extra money and buy more traffic. You can do that. But as far as having it face to traffic, no, it doesn't care who you are. It only cares of what they're looking at. So, yeah, no way is there any popularity in traffic because it's not going to know who we are. I don't want it to know, and they don't want to know. They're looking at something they want to buy. So that's all. It's a good it, job there's no face to traffic, Marty, because you and me be writing this shit. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'd be broke for life. <laughs> Thanks, Marty. Next, we have uh, Bob Takusi. Yes, I agree with you there, Marty. And, and I think the direct quote from Mr. Ash is that uh, the traffic is going to be AI wholesale direct from the source with a 20 to 25% conversion rate. And it's for all, you know, for every founder. So long as you are a founder, you know, the traffic, I think the office in Singapore, that's what they are special. That's what they are, they are, they are focused on making sure that this traffic comes to each and every one of us and is distributed equally. That's just what I want to add. Thank you for that clarification. Tony? Uh, Lynn, yeah, just before to, Tony I comes just... in, I'm going to slide off now. Is that okay? And That's I'll perfectly catch you guys fine. Later. Thank you, Thank Red. You Thank you for your you contribution. For we appreciate you. Thank you. Bye, Red. Thank you, Red. Yeah, you, you can leave, Red. <laughs> All right. Let's go on to Tony. Yeah, I just wanted to say, um, you know, remember, there's also people looking for stuff on a consistent basis with these search engines, right? Uh, for Let's use this as an example. Uh, uh, people, you know, the, um, the words, uh, how do I make money on the internet or how do I make money online? For example, if you go to Google, you'll see that 2.4 billion people on a monthly basis are looking for those keywords. Okay, we have something called the reseller position. Once customers start coming in for our products, they're going to love our products, and uh, and we're going to have more customers, the resellers. Uh, these customers are going to uh, uh, do the do the search. How do I make money on the internet, or how do I make money with on passive? You know, and and our keywords are embedded in in our um, our websites. Those keywords that I'm talking about, many keywords. Keywords relating to our products, keywords relating to the affiliate marketing part of it. I don't like to say the affiliate affiliate word, but affiliate is the same thing as reseller. Okay, except we use reseller, the reseller position, and uh, a lot of people are going to be searching for that, and uh, and they're going to, and we're going to have a huge amount of people that are going to be searching for that, and and we're going to be right there in front of them. They're going to put their names in and they're going to use the reseller position. They're going to be customers first. Everyone comes in as a customer first, but they'll have the opportunity to be a reseller. But I just wanted to give you an example of how many people on a monthly basis look uh, for a way to make money on the Internet, whether it's affiliates or, or what have you. Right. And there's 2.4 billion people uh, on a monthly basis that look for uh, how to make money on the Internet. Thank you. 
Thank you, Tony. Um, Marty will be needing to leave soon, so we're going to wrap it up with Collins Mana. Yeah, great webinar, great question. So just have something in mind. You know, I know Paul already asked a lot of questions, but you know, when I'm coming, I'm coming from the IT background, and I don't like like founders to be seen on passive as a multi-level marketing because they talk about affiliate, they talk about this. So it's just pushing them that mindset that, oh, what is it? On passive is an is a global IT company. Founders or no founders, Mr. Ashford Father will be the world richest man, like Jeff Bezos. Microsoft own it with his family. There's no founders there, but they are they, they are making their money because they'll put the products out there. Whether we like it or not, we'll buy it. The reason why a lot of founders are seeing this is, is the way Unpassive was introduced to them. Because when they hear this affiliate, the resellers and stuff, they just feel like, my goodness, I'm still in that one platform. Remember, IT company build that platform for companies to buy it. When you look at Mary Kay website, who build it? It's IT company. It's not Mary Kay. Amazon. Yes, it's an IT company, but it was a marketplace, and then they decide to go into full-blown. A lot of people forget that Amazon has data center, physical products. So we are talking about unpassive with almost unlimited products, data center, innovation lab, all of those things. So most of the founders, when you think of, of you look at what we have, disruption of our product, we are talking about marketplace, we have OMAT, we have O-commerce, we have all shop branding where you can brand yourself. We have all did all create to build your website. We have all domain. What are you thinking about? We have all tracker, all virtual. These are all digital product. IT company will even come and participate and buy it. All staff they will use it. Who are those coming? They are all founder. They are all customers. Those who are out there looking for this. I remember what a friend called me yesterday. Their company is moving from the HR, uh, uh, HR product they have because they said it is outdated. It's not like outdated. It cannot support the business anymore. And they are looking for something new. That's a, that's a company with almost a million customers and, a, and, and employees that are working for this company. You know, they are looking for a new, and they've just got one. I said, my goodness, this person who told me is a founder. I said, my goodness, I wish all staff is out there so they can take a look at this. This is what we are talking about. Company that build real solution, IT company, global IT company. So it is nothing to do with the thing people are getting in their head that, oh, if I come here, what will I gain? Just remember that if you are not the founder, you will use the product, whether you like it or not. You will use one of this product. And when you use it, you will be putting money in on passive. I always call on passive. It can be a, a founder because all of us are on passive. On passive have just put us, we've cloned on passive. What on passive have done is the founders have formed a wall around the on around on passive. That's what Mr. Ashford designed. So whether you come from Sky, you will land on a founder. You cannot go through on passive without you cannot go to on passive without passing through the founders. That's how the on passive is structured. But remember, it is an IT company with solutions. They build it and put it there. And customers, billions upon billions will come because there is something everyone on this planet Earth needs in unpassive. And that is how the money will come. That is how, where the money will come. It is about the products. If you look at how disruptive these products are, you will not even think about money because money will not be a problem. So that's I want to throw it out there for those who are still thinking of, those, this crazy thing, wipe it off your head because one product can solve all our problems. Besides, we don't need to throw it out there and they will come. Companies will come. They will buy it to make money. The, our platform, marketing company will buy our platform to do their multi-level marketing. We'll build it. It's on passive because we are digital. We are IT company. We'll build it. Take it. Go and do your multi-level. And what will they do? They'll bid and they'll pay us subscription. We're making money. We don't care what they do or as long as you keep uh, 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 on the guidelines, rules and regulation of unpassive that you cannot tarnish the image of unpassive. Use it judiciously and nicely. What will happen? They will promote their multi level and we are making money. We'll build it on passive because an IT company. So I just want to throw it out there. So a lot of comp uh, customers or whoever, they should get this. We are nothing like that. We are typical. Never been done before. That was great, Collins. 
We are going to be wrapping up soon, but I do want to give an opportunity to each of our panelists to say a final word. So if you are inclined to do so, raise your hand and I will call on you and then we will wrap up. All right, so we're good. Thank you all for being here. We had close to 300 attendees. Uh, I do see that the chat was active. The actual YouTube chats were very active as well. We saw good discussions happening. People were very appropriate. This is our first time doing an interactive forum where, in which our attendees can ask relevant questions. We saw that some of the questions were not particularly on the topic, but many of them were. So as we use this format on a permanent basis, I think people will get used to it and, and understand what the format is. So this is a, a work in progress, but we do appreciate your attendance. We had, as I said, good questions. And I hope that you attendees benefited, that you learned something new, that we addressed some of your questions and that you were able to express yourselves. So we do look forward to seeing you every week at this time, Saturday, 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Please join us. We publicize this webinar through the back office. It is a public webinar. So you will see it listed on social media as well, on Telegram, WhatsApp, Facebook. So you'll be able to find us some way and somehow, all righty? So thank you again for being here. We appreciate each and every one of you for your participants, for your participation and for your loyalty to our OTEC Pros webinar. So on behalf of our OTEC Pros and the, our speakers, Tony and Red and Marty, thank you very much. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye for now.